Hello and welcome. Today's video is very special to me, a chatty get ready with me for mother of the groom makeup. I'm also going to share a few just general bridal makeup tips. The new release from Tower 28, their Make Waves mascara. And at the very end, I'm going to put together a little vlog of the wedding location. I'm going to start by sharing with you the mother of the groom makeup that I selected. And I say selected because ironically, I didn't get a chance to wear it. Every wedding has their kerfluffles and my son's wedding was no different, but I'm gonna share that little story with you during my get ready with me. It all turned out beautifully in the end, but every wedding doesn't go perfectly. So, and ours was no different, but it was still great fun and turned out beautifully. So you gotta to learn to pivot in life, right? So I've already done my skincare. I used this morning the Sukiyaka Suhada Urea Moisturizing Lotion as my hydrating toner. Then my vitamin C antioxidant was the Dermalogica and that's a vitamin C derivative that I'm finishing up. I'm almost done with it. And then I'm almost finished with the Dermatology Needleless Serum, and that was my treatment serum today. All right, I wanna share with you the moisturizer that I'm gonna choose because if you're getting ready for a big occasion, you're gonna have some makeup on, you wanna make sure that the moisturizer that you choose is fairly medium to lightweight. If you choose a heavy moisturizer and you're building makeup, it just layers up and looks super cakey. So choose a moisturizer that is lightweight and doesn't have a lot of dimethicones because as you're adding products, you don't want it to pill. So I'm choosing the Dermatology Peptide Night. I use this as a day cream as well. It's kind of a medium weight moisturizer and for my mature dry skin, it works really well as a daytime moisturizer. And it doesn't tend to pill with other products and it gives me lasting moisture throughout the day. My plan was not to reapply any makeup or anything throughout the whole day because we were all so busy. So I wanted something that was moisturizing enough and would make my skin glow through the light makeup that I'm applying. Now, I chose to use for my foundation the Trini BFFF with a little bit of sunscreen. Now I know they caution you not to wear sunscreen during a wedding because of the flashback and my daughter-in-law did not. I wanted a little bit of coverage. So this is the foundation slash sunscreen, tinted sunscreen that I'm gonna be using. I always like to do my mascara first. So I'm gonna share with you the new Tower 28 because I usually mess it up and get it everywhere and mess up the concealer that I put in or the eyeshadow that I put in. So here's the Tower 28. This is a new mascara that was sent to me in PR. It's the new Make Waves mascara. And funny story, when I was, it was not so funny story, when I was like 17, 16 or 17, I you know wanted to start doing my mascara and I was using one of those lash curlers and I ripped off about a third of my eyes. And I think it took me to I was about 40 to try a lash curler again. So this is revolutionary for me. I don't have to curl my lashes. I typically don't curl my lashes, but of course on my son's wedding day, I wanted to have my lashes curled. And this is amazing stuff. I'm gonna show you kind of how it goes on. Now I have fairly straight lashes, as you can see. They're not super curly. They always could use a curl, but watch what this does. And you put it on like any mascara, it has this sort of curved wand. It separates really nicely. It's amazing to watch this mascara curl your lashes up by the time that it dries down. It's absolutely incredible. All right, let's move in with the Trini BFF. Now, the reason I don't rely on this solely for sunscreen is because you just can't use enough of it to really count as a sunscreen. But on a special occasion, because I don't want any of that flashback, I'm gonna use this. And it might give a little bit of a flashback because it does have a 30 SPF in it, but it's a chemical SPF, so it shouldn't be as casty as a mineral sunscreen would be. And I really love this tinted sunscreen, moisturizer, blurring slash foundation. I guess it's a tinted moisturizer with SPF. I guess that's what we can call it but it just gives a very fresh look to your skin. It doesn't cover up, it just kind of slightly blurs everything and just gives a fresh, healthy glow. I'm also gonna come up with a little bit, of, come in with a little bit of cover up. I have a scratch on my nose that's healing with some post-inflammatory erythema. My skin always heals with redness. And as you can see, the chin redness is still there and my forehead mark is completely gone after using the uh, Pillow Talk Derm major fade system. I still have a little bit here, but that really helped. And if you had a chance to get that, 
Yay for you. All right, um, in the pre-sale that they just had. All right, what am I doing here? I am working on cover-up. That's what we were talking about. All right, so I'm gonna use the Trini Just a Touch in Lily to cover up. This seems to match, cover up my little redness. This seems to match my skin tone almost perfectly. I'm just gonna pat that in with my finger. I do a lot of my makeup with my finger. But when I'm doing my concealer, I'll use a little damp beauty blender just to pick up that extra pigment. Or if I'm doing a foundation and I like that um, skin look to shine through, I'll use a beauty blender. But I love this just for a fast, easy makeup fix. That's my foundation slash tinted moisturizer set. So for Mother of the Groom, I also wanted something natural, something fresh, something I was comfortable with, nothing new that I wasn't sure how it would turn out or how it would look. Uh, my plan was to use this. I ended up not using it because I didn't have time to do my makeup. That story's coming up. I didn't want anything. I mean, it was crazy enough as it was. Weddings are crazy, and I just didn't want to experiment with something new. So I just came in with my traditional charmer, then smarty pants, and then funny girl. And so I'm going to apply that with you now, just kind of how I had planned on doing it and tell you the story of why it didn't turn out. Okay. That I wore any makeup actually. So here's the deal. The, there was a kerfluffle with the wedding luncheon after the wedding. And there were some timing issues and location issues that didn't turn out. It turned out that the place we had sort of thought about was closed. Anyway, it was just kind of a bit of a mess and it all turned out perfectly. The place we ended up was gorgeous. The luncheon was gorgeous and it all turned out. So I'm just coming in with charmer all over my lid just to get rid of some of that redness. And so it all turned out perfectly, but this is so funny. I was literally ironing Joe's shirt and rushing out the door I just plonked my hat on, threw some mascara on, threw some lipstick on, and dashed out the door. It was also last minute, but it turned out fine. I mean, it wasn't like, I mean, the, really this bride was the one that really needed to be knockout gorgeous, and she sure was. So I'm coming in with smarty pants on the corner and two thirds in my crease, and I'll blend that all out. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. But it, like, I decided it really just didn't look matter what I look like. It was just important to get everything organized and have the bride and groom get there on time and the reception all sorted out. So anyway, nothing ever, go ever goes as planned during a wedding. Oops, I forgot my funny girl over the mobile lid and I always just tap that in. So, all right, so that's all in. Oh my gosh, it was so crazy, but it was so much fun. It ended up being beautiful and the location was beautiful. It's supposed to rain both days. It didn't rain either day. Oh my gosh, we were so lucked out. The um, area where we were has a ton of drought and we were kind of feeling like the rain would be a blessing. It rained a little bit, but uh, the wedding didn't get rained out. The reception didn't get rained out. So it was awesome. I'm going to come in with hints for blusher. And I use this for my daughter-in-law's blush too. And I just kept mine a little bit higher above the apple. So I didn't draw down my face with the blush. And this is just a nice, super fresh look. This is their blush on, the Hints blush on. And I love this blush. And my daughter-in-law and I have a similar skin tone. I'm maybe a little bit darker than she is. She has a little bit lighter and more translucent skin. So this looked absolutely gorgeous on her. My Benefits brow. Let's give a little definition to my brows. Now, I was going to recommend a mascara for my daughter-in-law, but she got um, false not false lashes, what do they call them? Lash extensions. And they looked beautiful on her, super fluttery, and I didn't realize it, but you can't use mascara with them. So she ended up not using any mascara. She likes the Too Faced mascara, I like it too. I think for Lippy, I ended up using my Charlotte Tilbury. Like I said, I was dashing out the door and I just grabbed what was in my bag and I believe it was the Charlotte Tilbury Shimmer lip shimmer. I'm going to go grab it for you. I'm going to grab it out of my cupboard and show you the final look. And with all the last minute preparations for the wedding reception luncheon, I didn't get a chance to wear this makeup look. I just threw in my hat, grabbed a mascara and a lippy and ran out the door. And you know what? The day was perfect anyway. The bride asked me to do her makeup and I was absolutely terrified, but she insisted. And here's why. She has gone to several weddings in the past and she had professional makeup done and she felt like she just didn't look like herself. And on her wedding day, she wanted to look like herself. So she insisted that I do her makeup. I was so worried that I would mess it up. I relied on some tips that I learned from Trini London and a palette recommended by Tamara at Tamara's Time is Beauty. So 
Trini London recommends for wedding makeup not to wear a red lip. So we didn't, we went with a neutral lip and we just used, instead of the red that I was gonna use for each of us, we used just the neutral lip shine bunny for both of us. And it turned out great. It was a much better choice than if either one of us had worn a red lipstick because typically we don't wear a red lipstick and we all wanted kind of just that natural look to our makeup. So I thought that was a great tip by Trini London. And the shadow palette that Tamara recommended is the Too Faced Naturals palette. It's a palette of beautiful satin colors. And I picked this for the bride. She has very beautiful almond shaped eyes. I'm going to show you a picture of the shape of her eyes. And I don't have pictures or video of me applying her makeup or the wedding pictures because they're very private people and they chose not to share their pictures and share their videos and I just wanted to respect that but I want to share with you what I did and it turned out so pretty and natural. In the cutouts you'll see how these satin shadows look on my more mature eyes and the mock-up that I did to see how this trio of colors would go together. We did the all over color on her lid in heaven. And then in the outside corner and two thirds into the crease, we used push up. And what I did is I created a very light wing with the push up. We didn't use an eyeliner to create a wing. We used the shadow to create a wing. So we brought it out a little bit further than I would traditionally for my shape eye. And it looked so pretty. And then over the mobile lid, we ended up tapping in a bit of the silk teddy and then just blending it all out. And it looked so pretty on her. The foundation that I used for her was the Hints, and this is their number two, and I don't remember the name of this. I can't remember. I'll put it down below. This looked beautiful on her skin, and we ended up just applying it with a damp beauty blender, and it just gives this beautiful, translucent, your skin but better look. I think it's called Second Skin. That's what it's called, Second Skin Foundation. And it really is, if you have a light complexion, this is a gorgeous foundation. I love it myself and it looked beautiful on my daughter-in-law. So that is the end of our makeup. I kept it really simple. We kept it really natural and nothing new. And I think that is kind of the trick for wedding makeup because if you're uncomfortable in your pictures or it doesn't just quite look like you, I don't know. That was just our take on it. And actually it was my daughter-in-law that thought of that. We were going to hire someone or she, I was going to do a, a much heavier look and do some winged liner. And we just decided that just sort of a natural, fresh look would be better. The wedding adventures began as we whisked off to Berkeley, California. Joe and I were actually married in Berkeley many years ago, and we've lived in and out of the Bay Area for about 12 total years. My son and his wife actually met in high school there. We stayed at the beautiful Claremont Hotel, which was once home to the estate known locally as the Castle, owned by William B. Thornburg. He constructed the facility in the mid-19th century and then sold it to John Ballard until wildfires destroyed the entire estate in 1901. A group of investors decided to rebuild and turned it into a glorious resort in 1905. An independent Transbay Railway line was commissioned that led directly to the front door of the resort entrance. The Claremont's been sold and refurbished many times over the years, but in 1991 it was valiantly spared by the Oakland Hills fire. Unfortunately, my husband's professor's home wasn't spared and many other homes had perished in that horrible fire. Renovations continue on this beautiful site and we were so fortunate to have the wedding reception there on a glorious 75 degree sunny day. Thanks for joining me for my mother of the groom, get ready with me. If you haven't already subscribed to the Beyond 50 Skin community, please consider doing so. We have a lot of fun here with skincare, makeup, and hair care. I also want to invite you to click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and wishing you all a skintastic day. Bye.